Hey guys, this is Tash, the Starcross Stitcher. Today is Friday, yay! Uh, Mania the 26th. Um, and I've just finished my two motifs on And a Forest Grew today. I did the snake here and the birdie. And when I did the snake, I realized that I didn't even finish these two last week. These three little stitches on the top, I hadn't even put them in, so I had to correct those. So there's And a Forest Grew. That's not my mania project for today. It's just a little stitch along I've been doing with my mum every Friday. So the one I'm working on today is Fir Tree Mountain. Little stitching accessories. Number three in an Oriental Trilogy series of stitching accessories. Fir Tree Mountain. And it's by the Cat's Whiskers Design Studio. And it looks like this. So cute, right? Very cute. Uh, the Cat's Whiskers, I'm pretty sure they're Australian. And I would have bought all three of these charts. This is number three. I've done one and two. Um, I would have bought them at a show in Sydney, like a cross stitch show, needle arts show. Um, probably from. Um... Oh. Yeah, who are the uh, Stitches and Spice? They used to sell the Cat's Whiskers things. Um, so this is number one, was the Shades of Blue Willow. And I've actually done this one. And I gave it to my friend Veronica. And I think I have a picture which I'll insert here. Um, and number two is Cherry Blossom Spring. And I did this one for my friend Tara. And I'm sure she sent me pictures and I will insert them here. So yeah, there you go. I actually can finish things. Um, I don't do it very often and I dislike doing it. It's not that fun. I don't have a sewing machine or anything so everything I finish is by hand. Um, but I can do it and I visited Tara earlier this year and and she showed me the um, these things because I hadn't seen them since I gave them to her about 10 years ago um, and yeah they were really nicely done so I was very impressed with myself um, I did it just like that with the same cloisonne beads which I just got at Spotlight and the same tassels and everything um, the chart has oh oh yeah I put the um this is the alphabet from Japanese Octagon Box, and I put that in here. There are pretty good finishing instructions in the in the chart, and also there were additional um, cording and tassels instructions, and I got these online, probably at their website. Yes. So yeah, that's my whip for today. Um, as I can see, as I can see, because I was not sure where I was up to with this, I've already done the two little bits for the scissor fob. Um, I've already done the cording, which is a very good idea. It looks like I haven't done the tassels because I can't find them. I have all of these charts only use two colours. Um, they're all dinky, die, dinky dyes. Dinky doys. That's very Australian of me. Um, I've got the small cloisonne beads, but I can't find the large ones. They might be uh, they might be elsewhere, or I might have to go and find them. Go to Spotlight and see if they still carry these. I don't know. Um, and I've also got the Silk Jupion. Oh look, I burnt that with the iron. Not that it matters because this is the inside of this scissor case, so you'll never see it. It'll all be inside. This is just slide down in there. Um, beautiful, beautiful silk. And I've already cut out a lot of the pieces I need. And oh, this one's bent. Bugger, bugger. Oh well, I can cut another one. I have plenty. I have plenty of this stuff. Yeah. So that is. I really don't remember how I finished these things, so I'm glad I did a lot of the parts already. That's very clever of me. <laughs> okay, so I've got my thing on a Q-snap. Um, since I've already done the scissor fobs, I guess I'll get started on... I don't know. I might do this as a case or the needle book. I don't know. I'll start on one of these tonight and make a little bit of progress. Um, we've decided at the last minute to head up to Sydney tomorrow. Um, so I'll be spending most of the day in the car and then in the evening we'll be walking around Sydney. There's a festival of lights called Vivid. Vivid. V-I-V-I-D. I, why do I have such trouble saying that word today? Vivid. Um, so we'll be doing that. I won't have very much time for stitching, but I am taking a new start because all my other projects are not very portable. Um, so yeah, I will see you tomorrow with a new start and have a great stitchy day. Bye-bye.